Welcome back. I hope you're back. We're gonna be working on the um, cooling system because I noticed the other day when I was driving this car, and especially right here in Vegas, that is hot as shit. Um, this truck has, you know, uh, trouble keeping up with the with the heat. I'm, that one's gonna get the uh, electronic cooling system also because it's too damn hot. Uh, that fan that it has, no. I gotta. Plus, I gotta change my um, thermostat. So that one's gonna get some work on. I just gotta get the parts um, ordered in and I'll do that, but it's time to get back into this uh, engine cause I keep hearing a leak somewhere around here. I got a sandwich, I got a new sandwich plate. Actually it's old because I've been having it for a minute, but I'm gonna take off this, uh, the intake because I hear a leak somewhere around here. The car is not running right. I fuck with the, uh, with the timing and i gotta go back and redo that also something i'm gonna be doing later on the week now that i'm gonna take that intake off i'm probably gonna end up changing the injectors and the computer but i actually wanted to get my wife to see if she wanted to drive this car before to see if she can notice the difference you know the before and after because she drove this car with the svo engine i, w I actually did, didn't get that on video but I'm gonna see if I can get that on video this time around because she drove the SVO and I told her to drive that before I swapped this one in so she can let me know what where her opinion is on this. But for now, we're just gonna stick to the cooling system. Um, also got a, a leak on, on, the, on the hose, so I'm probably gonna go get one of those also. All right, so I'm gonna start off by taking off these uh, eBay bullshit and put on some more eBay bullshit. Um, According to the guy that I bought this off of, he said that these are from LMR. I mean, he said that the fans and shroud were from LMR, but I don't know if I should believe that because um, this shroud doesn't look like the one that they sell. I mean, I would say that's more eBay, but I don't know. He might be telling the truth and I'm over here talking shit. I'm not talking shit. Anyways, all right, so this is the uh, fan switch that I bought from Davies Craig. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna use to, um, to run the uh, the fan, I like this one because this one you can kind of customize your temperature. So the way that this works is, you set this temperature to whatever temperature you want, and um, that's pretty much the reason why I got it. Well, I just took a shit on my motherfucking radiator. You can see it's leaking right there. Uh, where is it? Yep, there it is. That's where it's leaking. I accidentally smacked it with a fucking knife, with this fucking knife. And uh, now my radiator just took a shit. Um, I don't know if there's a way I could fix it. I, I might be able to take it to some shop and have them weld it. I don't know if I can weld it myself. I've never actually even attempted to that. I'm gonna see if I can watch some videos and get an idea on how to do it. Maybe might be able to uh, solder it, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is this is some bullshit. All right, so I've been running my engine for a little bit, trying to get it to uh, to get hot so it can spill, you know, as much fucking cool as I can over there. And uh, that way I can identify the, the problem a little bit better. But it's not really doing too bad. And I'm already halfway up the, the temperature. I know the... Uh, I know the thermostat already open because it's hot. It's hot, both sides are hot. And there's a lot of pressure, like these are hard as hell. There's even cooling coming out of this. Hopefully it is not too bad. I might be able to solder it and call it a day. 
found uh the hole it is where is it right there this is how big the damn rod is So the hole is tiny. Looks like I'm gonna have to fucking weld this all the way here. Luckily, it's not that big. All right, in ghetto rig fashion, I'm using the uh, hoses for plugs. Yeah, cause I couldn't find anything better than, you know, just this plug right here. It's already filled up with water. I got my pressure tester. I welded it earlier. See if that holds up. Hopefully it does. The, the, the hole did not look too big. Um, I know that I just showed you guys a shitty ass video of, uh, you know, last night, but uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna show you guys quick cause this ain't holding on. Obviously pressurized because it's spitting out everywhere. So. Pressure drop. I'm gonna try to get it back up to 16. All right, so I didn't wipe with the with this rag, and I just touched it right now with my finger. It felt dry, even though there was some, you know, specks of water flying around everywhere, uh, all all over the damn place. Um, touched it, didn't feel a drop, so it's good. All right, so today was kind of a mission. I went around a whole bunch of places uh, getting what I needed. Um, didn't find all of this in the same spot. Pretty much got everything to, you know, redo the entire water system, except the water pump. Even though the water pump doesn't look too bad on this, I wanted to get it changed out because I got a warranty. I'm not gonna get the water pump uh, right now. I mean, I'm going to, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be put, I'm gonna be putting water into this, uh, into the engine, so. I can flush it out right now all i got is this uh top and bottom um hose 180 thermostat the gasket the thing and this is for the fucking fans also got the uh the hardware for to mount it so we're all good over there It looks like we're just about there you know i needed i needed uh one of these one of these uh like i like i showed you guys i needed this upper hose when i bought the upper hose i mean while i was there i went and bought the bottom hose because i'm i'm tired of dealing with this shit where you solve a problem and here comes another so yeah i got that got that the thermostat uh it's all in there with the new gasket and um yeah and i was now we just gotta set all this back together. I still gotta wire the uh, the fans, and I gotta go see the instructions for the uh, controller. So I'm gonna go do that. One eternity later. All right, I'm not gonna film too much because I know I was looking, I was looking at a video, and I know this motherfucker is loud as shit, even though it doesn't sound that loud uh, here in person. But check it out. It's at 61 degrees Celsius. And I set it to uh, go off at, uh, I set it to go off at 82, so let's see how that goes. I'm burping, I mean, I'm burping the system, so hopefully it all goes good. So far, 
so good. All right, here we go. It's at 81, about hit 82. This should be powering on this fan. Second. All right, here you go. And after this one turns on, this one turns on 10 seconds after. There you go. Second one turned on. Sorry about that noise. I know that thing is loud as shit. That was that's pretty cool system right there. I like that. I like that. Okay, so I messed up. I actually I actually put it on uh to turn on on 82 when I should have put it on 85. 82 degrees is 80 de uh, 180 degree. All right, so check it. It's at 80. It's up right now gonna shut off as soon as it's 79 all right y'all so all in all I uh, I think that 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 uh Davies Craig uh, controller is actually pretty good for the money so definitely recommend it that's pretty much it for this video so thank you guys for watching I appreciate it all so uh yeah stay tuned for some more videos uh we got we got some plans for uh for the blazer later on so you guys might might want to stick around for that so late